Hey guys, what's going on? It's Steve Cronin. Time for the second book review on Smart Drugs for this series that's coming up. Alright guys, so Smart Drugs 2, the next generation. <laughs> uh, this of course written in the 90s, the early 90s. Uh, that tagline now, the next generation, uh, kind of cliche now and, and most closely associated of course with something like Star Trek. So, all right, in the previous video, uh, I reviewed the first book in this series, Smart Drugs and Nutrients. So check that out before you watch this video. This is the sequel written by the same author. He's an MD, he's a physician. He can make claims about smart drugs in a way that I cannot, right? I report on my subjective experiences with smart drugs. I report on my research with smart drugs, but I can't make any specific claims about them for groups of people, right? Okay, so how this book differs, right? This book, like the other one, gives some new smart drugs in here. So there's new drugs in here not covered in the original book. This physician go goes over like what neurotransmitters they affect, how they affect your brain, or at least how we think they affect your brain because we don't know for sure. Um, and then he goes through, uh, because he's a physician, he can give recommended dosages. He can say, here are precautions you could take. Here are side effects you should watch out for. Okay, here's why this book is pretty cool, right? There are updates, okay? So paracetam was covered in the first book so here we get some new information, and this new information generally is like on case studies. So here's like a page from a study done on paracetam and athletes, okay? Or as he terms, weekend athletes, which you can read about in the book. So uh, why you would get this book? Well, honestly, if you are just looking for a solid reference book on smart drugs from a physician, written by a physician, and are you know and that's all you want then just stick with the first book again i've already done a video on this right this is great and i i really suggest this one because there's tons of information on the internet of people like me just reporting subjective experiences or just like different blogs of people talking about this stuff but it's rare to actually have an md say okay here's the dose you should take etc right so if everyone in my opinion should buy this first book if you love it there are some new drugs in here that he talks about, and there are some updates, but this book more goes into different case studies, uh, whereas the first book is more of a general desk reference. So, what does that mean? That means that if you're super fanatic about this stuff, definitely buy it. But, if you're just kind of an enthusiast like I am, you just stick with the first one. The sequel is probably not worth it. However, it's not that expensive. It was maybe four or five dollars on Amazon. I bought it used. It was a great read through. But again, go ahead and buy the first one. Don't think, definitely don't think, because I initially thought this. Don't think that because it says Smart Drugs 2, that it's the most up to date version and therefore you should just buy this. Nah, not, not gonna happen. There is so much information in the original book that was not covered here and in my opinion the information in the original book smart drugs and nutrients was much 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 better so that's as i said before if you're just really into this stuff go ahead and give it a read and if you're really into this stuff in general subscribe to this channel guys right new reviews on smart drugs new reviews on wearable technology uh tech from the quantified self movement philosophy transhumanism how does all these things combine into exploring human performance you can find out right here at steve cronin thanks a lot guys and take care